Here we are now. He's just standing over it. The crowd are waiting. And there we are. That's terrific. That's what the crowd were waiting for. It's the F1 2018 review. We're going to start this review in the only place we know where to start reviews, and that's with crashes. You know, I didn't actually add any sound effects to that. That was all in-game noise, believe it or not. I know, astounding. 10 out of 10! Next, we'll have a look at me. I mean, literally me. I'm in the game. I went for a face scan when we tested the last game, and they've put me in it. If I were you, I'd start to question the integrity of this review, to be honest, because I'm, I'm in it. I'm obviously gonna think it's the best game ever. Oh my god, what on earth is that? Now time for a look at speaking to the media. Well, I think, if we're being honest, the only thing anyone ever looks for when speaking to the media in a game is whether you can be a complete arsehole. So just looking at the options here, and yep, you can be an arsehole, 10 out of 10. Now let's review the split-screen aspect of the game. What? We're still without split-screen. They still haven't put split-screen in the game. <sighs> when my friend comes over, I'm gonna have to play chess. Now, something we always look at is the penalty system. After racing quite a bit online and getting some really, really harsh penalties, I'm going to conclude that the penalty system is absolutely savage out of 10. Now, if we're going to be taken seriously as an F1 2018 review, I think we have to look at the Halo. Hostile contact! Go! Run! Yeah, you've got to say, the Halo is looking really exciting here. It looks really enjoyable. Can't wait for it. Oh, what do you mean this is the wrong Halo? Oh, you mean the Halo on the cars? I did think that technology looked a bit beyond Formula One, but, but anyway. Yeah, it looks good, that, yeah. 10 out of 10. Now we're going to have a look at Eau Rouge. Just on the approach now, Eau Rouge looking absolutely fabulous in the distance there. Up we go through it now, sweeping round to the right. What a fantastic corner that is. That's right on, actually. Obviously, something new in this one is France, so we should really have a look at that. Yeah, it's really looking good, this French circuit, really looking nice, and I am now coming home to claim victory in the French Grand Prix after a fantastic race. Coming home now to win the French Grand Prix. Oh, I'm being shown a white flag. Oh, I'm going to have to surrender. Typical of France, I'm always having to surrender, always showing the white flag straight away. Oh, what a pain. So if you take all of that into account, you do some really intense calculations, you think about it for a good length of time, you've got it all set out in your mind, you look at all the external variables, all the internal variables, to come to a well-balanced, honest conclusion on what I think of the game. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good game. What do you mean I forgot to look at aliens? Yeah, I know I normally look at aliens, but I decided not to this time. Why? Well, do I really need to look at aliens? <laughs>